Welcome back to Rising. Now, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but one artist is shining a spotlight on the beauty that is a black woman. And I got to interview her for this Black History Month. Making their mark, celebrating Charlotte's black history. Gerda, I'm so happy you're here today. I've been following you on social media and you are so incredibly talented. When did you decide that you wanted to take this route of highlighting beautiful black women through art specifically? Um, I decided that it was something that needed to be done because understanding where I stood when it came to the arts and going to an art school and how that whole experience made me feel um, helped me to realize that it was a necessity that we needed as black women. We needed an outlet where we can be, you know, conveyed beautifully, but also illustratively. It's just not something that we grew up seeing or I grew up seeing. And so I wanted to make sure that it was something that I could use my talents to push forward. I thought that it was important for society to see something like my work for us. Yes, and how do you come up with these, these art pieces? Like, it, does it just come from your mind to your pen to your digital art? Like, how do you come up with these characters? So a lot of the times I'm inspired by women around me. I'm inspired by the people that I see. I'm inspired by, you know, things that I watch, just daily life. Also, a lot of inspiration comes off of things like Pinterest or social media and seeing just beautiful black women or seeing black women in a way where they may be expressing certain forms of insecurities. And so I just make sure or I try to find ways to execute those creatively and in my mind, I think, how can this turn into something practical? If I was to turn into a practical art piece, like a journal or a planner, like how would this be something that a Blackwood men would find useful to them? And then that's how I start my design process or my art process <laughs> is by thinking, how will this affect my viewer and the Black women that see this? Yeah. How did you get into digital art? Do you also do canvas painting? Is there any other kind of art that you also include? 2020 was when I started digital art. So before that, I was a watercolor painter. I've done oil paints, acrylics. I do all forms of art, but I found digital art was the best way for me to convey my message in all forms of practical art, because that way when I transfer it into a product or if I transfer it into social or digitally, it just translates so much better. And so I taught myself how to digital art within three days in Stop. 2020. And then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was up from there. <laughs> Girl, I can barely do like cursive and make it look cute. And you learn digital art in three days. That's incredible. Now, what has been your most favorite art piece or product that you created? My favorite art piece is called Chocolate Gold. Um, and that piece means so much to me because it was an expression of something that I felt growing up, being a dark-skinned black girl and always having to feel like you have to play in the background. Chocolate Gold expressed a beautiful, bold black woman who kind of looks unapologetic but so beautiful. And growing up, um, I had kids make fun of me because my hair would always be in puffs and they would be like oh your hair feels like cotton and I made her hair white to express that like these things that or these I guess mean words that kids would say to me is not something that really affected me or made me feel lesser than in any way and so conveying that in an art piece that was one of my first digital pieces that I created and till this day it's still my favorite. Thank you so so much for taking the time to be here today you are going to go so far in this life from my mouth to you to God's ears truly your talent is so out of this world. Amazing story. So cool. Thank you so much, Donya, for spotlighting that. Yeah, she is so special. I mean, mm -hmm. I, so I've been following her on Instagram, and it's so crazy. Like, we talk about social media all the time. Yeah. Some people don't like it. I love social media for the fact that you're able to connect with people all over the world. She's mm -hmm. based in Canada, but her art spoke to me when it came up on my timeline, and I've been following her for some time. So when it was time to highlight some black artists for Black mm -hmm. History Month, she popped into my head. And one of the things I love that she said um, was that she learned how to do it in three days. Wow. Three days. I'm like, I can barely 
write cursive, like I said, yeah. or draw any stick figures and make it look good. And she does that in three days. It's incredible. Yeah. And um, you also brought some sweatshirts that you um, shared with us. That Her work is truly amazing. It really is. Um, I'm so happy to see her on a platform like this and being able to talk about her art. Yeah. It's really an amazing moment. I love yeah. everything that she's doing, that she's sharing, that she's highlighting black women specifically. Because yes. I mean, a lot of us have those same stories of growing mm -hmm. up yeah. and not feeling either beautiful or loved or in the way that we want to be because mm -hmm. of our skin or our hair so I love that her favorite art piece was called chocolate gold yes. and she highlights her pain into purpose and pain yeah. into beauty so I loved everything yeah, about it. Was it. Very yeah. cool. Journey said so was that the sweatshirt you had on this morning? Yes. It was. Yes, yes it was. Very Rachel cool. saw me. I, I was wearing it this yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> Journey so nice and next to each other in the dressing room so yes. nice to see her outfit. Yeah. Yes. Oh, perfect. Yeah. It was so impressive. Thank you so Thank much you for that so one. Much. Thank you so much. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Congrats to her. It is 825 right now. There is lots of talk, truth and tea this morning. Joe is telling it all. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Rachel. Listen, the big question has been